Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. In the last Synology video, we looked at how to use Quick Connect. Now in this video, we're going to do a couple different things. We're going to get an SSL certificate uh, using Let's Encrypt for our Synology, but then we're also going to set up a fully qualified domain name for our Synology. And we're going to do it two different ways. First, we're going to do it with the Edge Router, and then we're actually going to install DNS on the Synology, and then we're going to do it that way. So let's get to it. Here's our Synology that we're working with. So we'll get logged in here. And we've got to do a couple things. We're going to hop over to um, our edge router real quick. So let me bring that guy up. Okay, so we're logged into our edge router, but we've got to do a couple things first. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the wizards, and we're going to go down to the DNS host names, and we're going to add a new one. And we're going to call this, um, we'll call it uh, Synology1.howx5.com. And we'll put the IP address of the Synology in. We'll go ahead and apply that. And then the next thing that we've got to do is we've got to forward some ports through the router to the Synology so that Let's Encrypt will work properly. At a minimum, you have to have port 80 for Let's Encrypt to connect to the Synology to be able to issue the certificate. So we're going to go over to our firewall NAT. We're going to come over here. Our WAN interface is East Zero. The LAN interface that we're going to use is going to be BR02 because that's where the VLAN lives that our Synology is on. Okay, so now on our port forwarding rules, since we've got our, our LAN interface set to BR02, what we're going to do is we're going to add three ports to begin with. And the first one's going to be 80, and we're going to make it TCP, and we're going to do 192.168.69.25, and it's 80, and we're just going to call this Let's Encrypt. And then the next one's going to be 5,000, even though we're not going to use 5,000. If we hit that, we want it to redirect. So 5,000 will redirect you to 5,001. So this will be, uh, we'll just do Sino 1 there, and then 5,001, TCP. We'll do 5,001 here. All right, so now we have all of the port forwarding rules created that we need to be able to access the Synology from outside, but we still don't have a certificate. So we're going to go back over to our Synology and um, we're going to do a couple things and then we're going to hop over to Google Domains and we are going to create a dynamic DNS that matches what we created over here because we're doing what is called split DNS. So we've got a DNS server internally resolving the local IP address and we're going to use the Google external servers to resolve the external IP address. So that host name, the Synology 1.howx.5, we're going to go out and we're going to create a dynamic DNS for that. All right. So, but first we're going to come over here to our Synology. We're going to go to the control panel and we're going to go to external access. We're going to add a DDNS here in just a minute, but then we're going to go um, here. So to open files on the disk station with internet services, such as Google Docs, what we need is we are going to have this be synology1.howx5.com. So we'll set that there. Now we're going to leave the standard ports uh, 5000, 5001, so we don't need to fill anything in here. But we do want to put our, our fully qualified domain name here. All right, so now what we're going to do real quick is we're going to hop out to... Uh, Google domains and we are going to create the dynamic DNS that we need that will allow us to access this from the outside. Alright, so we are logged into the DNS records at uh, Google domains for um, HowX5. So what we're going to do under synthetic records we're going to do dynamic DNS and then we are going to do uh, Synology 1 and we're going to go ahead and add that. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to pull those credentials out. If you're not familiar with this, you can go back and look at my channel for another 
uh, Google Dynamic DNS with uh, USG to walk through this process a little bit more. So what we've got to do is we've got to grab these credentials and then we're going to um, install them in the Synology and get the external DNS uh, up and going. And then we will get our uh, Let's Encrypt certificate and we should be in good shape. Okay, so we have our our host name, our dynamic DNS host name, and then we have the credentials. So what we're going to do under DDNS, under Control Panel External Access, is we're going to add, and we are going to add, they actually have Google available here, so this is going to be Synology1.howx5.com, and then we're going to put in the credentials uh, that you saw on the notepad. So I'm going to paste those in here, and we're going to click um, OK. All right, so we have pasted in our domain name and our credentials, so we're going to go ahead and do OK. And now you're going to see right here, it's going to come up, Google Synology 1.howx.5. Here's the external address, and our status is going to be loading. So as soon as this um, comes up and works, then we will proceed to get our certificate issued. All right, so you can see it says our status is normal, so we are... Uh, we're registered so this is good to the outside world now and last updated time it shows us that it was uh, updated on the 12th at 815 so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to security and we're gonna go to certificate and we're gonna go to add and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new certificate we're gonna call this uh, we'll just call this h5 we're gonna get a certificate from let's encrypt and here, here we're going to put in Synology1.howx5.com and then I'm going to put my email address in and I'm going to click apply. Now remember if you don't have port 80 forwarded this is not going to work but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click apply and so now the Synology is going out to the Let's Encrypt servers and you can see immediately it has come back and it has issued an SSL certificate for Synology1.howx5.com and we can come in here and configure the services so I'm actually going to make uh, the default certificate for all of these Synology1.howx5.com it's going to restart the web server now what we're going to do is we're going to access the Synology using this fully qualified uh, domain name and then we're going to set up DNS on here and then we'll point our client to this DNS server uh, versus doing it on the edge router so you can see it um, either way and I will tell you that if you have a Synology but you also have a Linux box so running bind even with webmin can um, really uh, test your your skill as an administrator sometimes if you have a Synology do yourself a favor and use uh, the DNS on the Synology and we're gonna see that here in just a second so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in our fully qualified domain name up here and you're gonna see we're gonna get the uh, green padlock so now you can see when I go to Synology1.howx5.com colon 5001 that I have a green padlock so that is all uh, it's it's good it's it's good to go and the let's encrypt certificate will automatically renew so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna log in here And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the package center. And we are going to search for DNS. And we are going to install DNS server. All right, DNS server is installed. So we're going to go ahead and open that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on resolution and we're going to click enable resolution and then we're going to have a forwarder in there. So any domain um, zones that our DNS server doesn't know about locally, it's going to forward out to another DNS server to resolve and we're just going to leave that at a 1.1.1.1. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we'll click apply and then we're going to go over here to zones and now we're going to create a master zone and it's going to be a forward zone. So the difference between a forward zone and a reverse zone is a forward zone um, maps a uh, name to an IP and a reverse zone maps an IP to a name. So we're going to do a forward zone and it's going to be howx5.com and 
this is going to be the uh, master DNS server and this should do it. I actually can't get down to, I need to zoom out on my screen real quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now we have a DNS zone for uh, how X5. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go to edit and we're going to do resource record. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create an A type record and we're going to call it Synology 1 and the, you can leave the default TTL and that's a time time to live and it's going to be um, 69.25 we'll even create another one we'll do unify and that is 192.168.66.10 so we've got both of those in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the settings on our network adapter and we're going to point it to the Synology to be our DNS server. All right, so I've got my network connections open here. I'm bringing up the properties for my Ethernet and we're going to go in here and we're going to make that 69.25 our DNS server. And now we're going to bring up a command prompt. And we're going to do an ns lookup on synology1.howx5.com. It hits our DNS server and it successfully resolves. So we'll do an ns lookup on Synology or on uh, Unify. And there it is. So, and now um, what we could do is we could actually load this website uh, or load the Synology from outside. Now by the time you see this video I'll have pulled these records down because I don't want you accessing my Synology uh, directly but that's it. If you follow these instructions and um, you shouldn't have any issues. You should be able to get this going, you know, do the port forwarding and all that and uh, you should be okay. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you need consulting for Synology, Grandstream, Ubiquity, you name it, uh, you know, voice over IP networking and security, you can go to h5llc.com. If we can't help you, we can get you to somebody who can and that's our promise to you. Uh, we have a Discord channel. Uh, the link is down there. Charlie is our admin. He does a wonderful job. Come on over and say hi. If you'd like to buy any of the products that you see here on the channel, we do have an Amazon shop down below. And as always, I want to thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.